Hello everybody and welcome back to Planet Zoo. Last time we finished this beautiful crocodile habitat here. I really, really like it. It could be a bit smaller perhaps, like this area. I don't think we'll need that really. So at some point I'm probably just making the border here along, you know, up there and using this space here for something else. But for now, let's just keep it like that. Something else has happened and we've finished another African themed research. So when we look at facilities now, really cool buildings come up like look at that exhibition those buildings here origin that is a keeper hut isn't that looking just so cozy and a quarantine a smaller one instead of those rather sterile looking buildings here look at that we get these buildings here now i just love them origin straight center oh oh pretty and i think we do have do we have a toilet yes we have the toilet there it is an African themed toilet. So really, really cool buildings that we get there. I already sent my mechanic there to research more of those African themed buildings. And hopefully next up will be the restaurants and um, shop souvenirs so that we can have a large guest facility area here, uh, probably elevated. Like we are just making these hills here over there. And on top of those hills, we're going to have those facilities and people up there can then look down down there onto the onto the hippos here then and onto another habitat here then oh yeah perfect i really really like that what else has happened well we finished another quest here so another challenge i should say habitat species welfare increases the average habitat species overall welfare to 72 percent i did that and i get another thousand dollars for that we have thirteen thousand dollars right now so that's a lot of money we can use then for new habitats if we want to adopt exhibit species we don't we didn't have that yet so um you can of course have also exhibit um animals like bugs for example you know really small animals that you can't have a habitat for so we're also going to have an area just for that where we have bugs and stuff like that and conservation increase conservation rating to one star i don't know what that means yet i think um getting animals out into the wild again and with that we can actually try that since i do have self-bred animals i think by now like my wolves here so this one here is one that has grown up in my zoo so as opposed to this one here i bought this one here i can only quick trade it again or move it but the one that i got in my zoo i can release to the wild and with that i do get some conservation points and i increase my conservation rating so simington you are now he's pretty young no, he's actually an adult already. Doesn't matter, we are releasing him to the wild. And that's it. Let's release him. And with that, we not only get an achievement that you don't see because it's an overlay, we get an achievement and we can increase our, well, rating for that. And also, people like it. Look at that conservation rating. It's still at zero stars almost, but it got a bit of, of uh, a bit of filling up there at the first star. The higher that is, the happier my people are and the more guests I get and also the more money because money is all we want in this game here. And habitat cleanliness is a problem. It seems like one of my habitats is dirty. And I think it's this one here, which can't be honestly. I don't see any dirt in here. And I've got a, cat a caretaker and a keeper close by. What we need though is a new mechanic in this area here too. I don't think that I have enough uh, mechanics in that area here. And when we look at that work zone 2. Yeah, there was only one mechanic yet at work zone 2. Now they're assigned to that. Always assign your workers there to the right work zones. Otherwise, you're getting a bit of a messy zoo there. Right, we are almost at 800 guests. I'm really surprised at that. What else? Mechanic research complete. Souvenir shops. Perfect. So for that, we can now move that mechanic here that is um, doing the souvenirs. And let's get him to the drink shops. Perfect. And vet research complete. So much research. The saltwater crocodiles get something now. Perfect. We can add that then right away. And I think we already have then almost all of our animals researched now. So the pea files are the last ones. And we can now continue well increasing the research for each animal. That means they're getting more items, better food quality, stuff like that. Really cool things. Better food especially, which is so important. Many guests, I think again that my prices are not high enough. So, well, if they say so, I'm going to increase it to 10 rather too low than too high because when it's too low 
there's still more people coming in and you know entrance prices are really really marginal i think like 20 percent of your income comes from the ticket prices most of it definitely comes from the donations from those donation boxes there people paying that and look at that they're also up here now not that many yet because there's nothing on the other side and the hippos are also missing the hippos are coming now soon what else a quarantine i do have a quarantine do i not veterinary uh, oh security guard right that is something we need security let's have one for now i mean they really cost a lot though so we should be careful about those um stuff once and without vendor for a long time this one here. I don't know. This is going to be remodeled here soon anyway. Um, there's a transportation system in this game, so trains. And I definitely will have the train station here at the entrance. So uh, I'm, I'm going to keep that space here open for now because there's going to be um, a train station here then. And I just don't know at which side yet. Okay. So at the moment, I'm going to leave it like that. And here we can now, we can now finally go for the hippos. I really, really want to have the hippos here. And let's have the barrier there. Once again, we need it water tight and not climbable. And we're going to have, I think, hopefully, that it actually is going for it. Over there. No, that's not that's not looking good. Okay, so we're going to have it like that. And then, I don't know, the hippos, they definitely do need some land as well, right? Oh boy, I was never really good at biology. Let's have a bit more land here, yeah. Yeah, but um, they're going to get an island there anyway as well. I hope that's a good habitat for hippo hippos. Okay, not looking that bad and hmm, right we do need of course then keepers and stuff like that on the other side so let's go for the path here now we do have the paths here as you can see and we have the big path here Perfect. That's because here people can then again watch the crocodiles from the other side as well. And there's another habitat coming up here then as well anyway. And on this side here, yeah. So people can also watch from this side then here again and also from this side here. Okay, the thing is, I wanted to have, a th I wanted to have the guest facilities at some point here. Then we'll probably have to do something about that. Right now, for the staff, I do need probably a new working zone here then as well because that is a bit far away there on this side there, or is it? No, actually, I don't think so because my staff can go from there here to an entrance here, right? Oh, that's a difficult one now, because um, it decides where the animals get food as well. And that is just really important. So I want to have the food here, though. So we'll probably need the entrance here, then. Yeah, why not? I mean, it's not usual, to be honest, to have that here, but I think it's still the better option. Let's have a look at the entrance. It would be here, then. As opposed to, let's say, here. Just below the bridge. That that would be the, the, the cleanest option, I guess. Oh, that's a difficult one. You can only have one entrance, by the way. So you're totally limited by that. And for now, I'm just going to have it here. Okay. Um, we can... It's not final. We can still move it then again at some point. 
if I don't like it too much. And then we have the <laughs> those pathways there again. And right. So my stuff is coming in here. So here will be the feeding platform then for my hippos. First of all, let's purchase some hippos. We do need them. There they are. And there are no hippos in the market right now. So we, we need to wait there a bit. Yep, no hippos. Or is it the only... Oh, no, now we have some. And they're just huge animals and only with conservation credits. That's that's a pity there. That's going to hurt me. Let's purchase this female there for now. And then we just hope that there is a cheaper version coming up at some point. Or just we'll have to greet lots and lots of new uh, visitors then. Another research complete. The Indian peafowl and the timber wolf has research level 2 now. Very good. Let's move them right away to... The flamingos, so they get the level 2 there. It's a bit strange what's happening over here. Those, they seem to have no vendors here. Even though I've got so many vendors. But it doesn't matter, we're going to have a bigger entrance there anyway for for guests then and yeah well for hippos we do have a hippo now so let's move him over here so i can see what he actually wants or needs there she is let's get her to habitat 12 and while the hippo is on its way we will have to use some more glass again here Of course, they can also watch from up here and then also on this side here. Very good. So they, are, they can be seen from three sides now. And I think this hill, I'm going to use that for my guests. Or I'm going to build a new a hill here then. Who knows? Right, we have that. And again, some donation boxes. Oh, and I haven't used an ATM yet. We also have to have eight ATMs here, of course. Let's have two here now and two here for now. I think that's all we need for them. Perfect. Oh, and we have a deceased animal. New research, African theme, please. Yes, level three African theme. Interesting, what's new? Let's have a look there. Toilet large, but there, finally, we have the shops. African theme shops, it's dark right now, we can't see that much. A smaller toilet. So just one more step for the African theme and we are completed on that. And then we can finally start with that. Habitat cleanliness is still a problem there. And where's the hippo? There it is. Let's have a look at that terrain. Enough water, enough land area, that's good. It needs more soil. Something we can do over here. And also some rocks. We can we can have them here, close to the hill. And short grass is what they want the most. So let's have some short grass here everywhere and on this side here too. Perfect. So that's that. So terrain wise, it's looking good. Now, yeah, they want plants. They want lots of plants, aquatic plants in this case. Just like the crocodiles, we already have the aquatic plants. So in this case, yeah, I'm sorry. I really need to get um I need to get the out the water here again. That's going to hurt a bit there, but the uh, time is stopped anyway, because we want to have, of course, a little island here for the hippos. Is 
Is that high enough? I think it's high enough, yep. So for some reasons, oh my, I can't increase the water there again anymore but because I think there are animals in there and the game doesn't like that. So what I will need to do is I will need to remove the animals and then refill it. Okay, it took me a couple of minutes, but all said and done. Now the crocodiles are back again. And what the only thing that I will need to do right now is just elevate a few of those plants here now that are below the water because they fell down kind of, I guess. And that's it then. And on this, on this side here, we'll have to do the same thing. So with the plants here, so we have those water lilies. So it's exactly the same um, plants that the crocodiles also need. Now I think that's the perfect little habitat now here for hippos. And yeah, we'll still have only one, so I'm still waiting on a good offer there. And look at that, we got the first thousand guests in the Sioux African here now. Um, a very nice milestone, so that zoo is growing. And we also researched a few more, well, buildings here. So more shop buildings that we have now. Um, let's have a look at what's new here. So we do have more toilets, more very uh, variants of toilets. And something else has come up. For example, now some shops here. So the African shop, the African shop large, the Oricon wor Origins workshop. I think that's for the mechanics then, something that we need. And exhibits also those for the exhibit um, animals. And we can also start with those type of animals then soon. Now, what else do we have here? Cleanliness is a disease risk. Thanks for pointing that out to me. Um, ticket prices are still underpriced. And we have another player here. Some rewards. And let's have a look at that. Let's check that real quick if we have some hippos there again. That we could actually purchase. Oh. No hippos at all. Now there we have some. But 183 would be the next one. That's just too much. Unfortunately, and I can't place only one hippo in there because that's just way too bad for it, you know, so. Oh, we lost someone due to old age. Barika has died, but she's still, oh, okay. Now she's dead. Let's call the vet. So there we got the first death. Um, Died due to oldness. To age. It's fine. It died in a nice spot there, just in front of my guests. Perfect. Off it goes. Had a long and happy life, hopefully, and hopefully earned me a lot of money. Otherwise, we're just going to dump it somewhere. No, of course, I'm just kidding. Alrighty, so that's that. We also have researched a lot of new toys for my animals. Especially, hopefully, some food toys. Yes, there they are. We have food toys now. Remember, my my um, animals actually want that. So we have the warthog here, I think. Actually, we don't have it anymore because I think it's the only one that we have right now. Yep, we do need more warthogs. Let's have a look at them. So hippos and the uh, common warthog. Should be up there then somewhere. Let's have a look. Let's filter them so we get those two now. And they're relatively cheap here. So we can get a male one there if we want to. And I definitely want to get a female. But not this one here. And let's perhaps cash listing only. So we can only see them that we can actually pay cash for. But there's none. Which is a bit surprising. But we know how this market here works by now. So look at the next page there. There is a female and she's good. Perfect. So two more. Let's get them. Both of them in here again. Otherwise no one's earning me some money here. And also the male one. They need to get me some baby warthogs there. And what we can do now while they're being transported here. Well, small barrel feeder. That would be something that they like. And let's see. 
I could place this one here. What's going on? It's rolling away, it seems. But as we can see now, they like that. Enrichment for the food is now at 94%. That was quick. So they're pretty happy with that. Let's have a look at the flamingos. There are quite a lot of them, I think, here. It's balanced at the moment still. That's good to see. And let's see what the flamingos actually want out of that one here. It's the great the flamingo in this case. Oh, I don't have anything for them for them yet. Okay. Then the timber wolf. There we have it. The dog ball, which is a food enrichment. Let's get this one in here. That's something they can play with. And should make him very happy there. Food enrichment, 25%. So we need a few more of them, it seems. Yep, yeah, 50%. 75% and one over here everything in front for the guests to see of course so that is now pretty high there too and the welfare of the timber wolves is thus at 93% so that's pretty good and they're fighting again oh because the pup has grown up yes let's get one of them out of here that's not good of course and they're not happy then. Okay, so that's that. Very good. Flamingos, nothing there. Ostrich, they definitely have something for the enrichment. I'm pretty sure of it. Yeah, the slow feeder. So I don't know how many of them I need, so let's have a look at that. Oh, five of them. I think this will um, overwhelm my keepers quite a bit, though. Okay. And does welfare 93% now for the ostriches as well. I'm very happy for them. Do we have... No. Nothing else here. Say hello to that one there. Get a few conservation credits there. That's what we need. And mechanic research has been completed. Is it African theme? And thus we have finished the African theme. Research is complete. What were the last buildings that we got out of this one here? Not that much it seems. So nothing here, I think. This is still the same, more or less. For construction, I think we have a few more things here. Yeah, African animal sign. Okay, some ornaments in this case here. Architecture. Things we can build with that. And now I can also then get the mods for African um, buildings. And this is something I'm going to have in the next episode then. Perfect. Now, African theme is complete. Um, vet research is also something new here. For Greater Flamingo. Now we can definitely use something there. For the Greater Flamingo. Perfect. That is with the mods. If you want to install mods, you have to research the um, themes for that first before you can do that. Otherwise, you know, the mods have items in there that they can't use or items are missing. Let's research the hippos there while we're at it. And also the p file has been completed. Very good. That should be fine. And let's check the animal market there once again. Let's get rid of the warthog. Oh my, this market system is so frustrating. It's very hard to get the right animals there if you want any. All right, but I think it's looking good so far. Oh, and a timber wolf died here. A very good one actually, but I guess it was the end for him. And we got quite a lot of pups here though, so no problem with the timber wolves, you know. Quite a lot there anyway. But with that, we're going to leave it at that. Um hopefully we get some hippos in the next episode then. Finally, I mean okay, okay, okay. Let's let's finish this episode off with hippos. Actually in my zoo, so this one here before it gets older. And let's deliver that here to the habitat. And while that is happening. 
Oh, it's getting more expensive here. I can't afford them. Nothing else though, but we get the hippo now. Should be transported now. And the warthogs are still uh, fighting again. Like, they're getting children, the children grow up, and then they fight against each other. All the time. So there is my hippo coming. It's a very strong care uh, caretaker here. Carrying the hippo over there. And then we should be able to see if it's happy with the way we built this one here. And there it is. Actually, it's a really small one. Is that realistic? I don't know. I have them quite bigger in my mind, but well. Um, yeah, social group is down. And otherwise, I think welfare here is pretty high. But yeah, we probably have to get it out of here before we can do anything with that. Because it definitely needs someone else. Otherwise, it's just going to, to die in there. Or we're just going to have another crocodile area here because they're just so much simpler. Uh, I don't know. Stay tuned.